All right, next we're going to install these cow lights, sequential turn signal daytime running lights uh, on the bike. Again, if you want more information on how to install the Pathfinder uh, Power Hub or these daytime running cow lights, I encourage you to check out Cruise Man's videos, both his free one on his YouTube channel and uh, his package for purchase, which helps you take off the seat and some, uh, a whole bunch of other things, 77 different videos. I encourage you to check those out. Okay, the cow light installation starts with removing the front covers here around the fog lights, and they're held together by two five millimeter screws, so I'm going to do that now. We have these two five millimeter screws out, set them aside, and then this just pops right off. Just like that. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing on the left side of the bike. All right have those two covers taken off and these are going to install right here in these indentions and you got to drill holes oh my gosh I got to drill holes in my brand new motorcycle but we're gonna do it and they provide you with this wonderful little template that you just cut out these things and lay them on there and it gives you a guide where to start drilling your holes so gonna do that next oh my gosh All right, I've got these two templates cut out. Now it's time to tape them on to these cowl covers in the right place. All right, got that one taped in place. And this is going to show us where we need to make a mark and start drilling our hole to the appropriate size. Okay, I'm going to take this pick and I'm going to put it right there on the spot where it says to drill and we'll make a mark in the plastic so I know when I peel this template off where my drilling where my hole is supposed to be. Right in the center. And just twist back and forth to make a mark. All right, do the same thing over here on the other hole. Right in the center. On my eyes. That looks close enough. And make a mark. So now, hopefully, yeah, I've got a little mark there and I can just peel this off. And do the same thing with the other side. Got my pilot hole drilled here. I'm just going to finish it out with this step bit. simple and that step bit creates a very clean hole let's test it out got to make sure that this connector goes through that does easily all right let's make sure the screw goes through yep that does just about perfect okay I'm gonna finish up drilling the other holes okay getting that to snap into place was a little difficult but it did and then on the back side, you have one small black plastic nut you put on that bolt, and then a larger white plastic nut that you put on this bolt, threading the power line through there. 
um, and you just hand tighten it. You don't want to over tighten these. I'm going to do the same thing to the other side now. All right, I'm using a 36 inch cable tie as sort of my fishing pole. Got some painter's tape and just taped this uh, wire that's going to go from the cowl light back to the power accessory hub. I'm going to fish it through the engine. I'm going to show you that in just a minute, but I've got it taped up and this is how we're going to do that. All right. I want it to go on top of the engine here, so I'm going to feed it behind feed it behind this part right here back along here and to the back there we go You can see where it's coming out over here. Hopefully, it's a little difficult with the GoPro in the shadows. I'm going to further fish it up behind this silver frame rail and up in here and under this frame bar up over towards my power connector, my power hub. Okay, all done fishing. You see, I have the right side coming in under the silver frame rail and up here where I'm going to connect it to my power accessory hub. And I also have the left side that I'm going to unhook from my makeshift fishing pole and do the same thing. Now the instructions will tell you that when you buy this Cowlite kit, you need to also buy uh, some pigtails that snap into your saddlebag connectors back here. but that's not necessary since I bought the power accessory hub. We are going to take this left, remember left has a blue wire, and right has a yellow wire, Pathfinder brand cow lights, and we're going to connect it to the Pathfinder accessory hub. Now the good news is, since it's all Pathfinder, the color of the wires line up. So I'm going to cut off this connector because I don't need it and I'm going to splice back these wires and connect it to these Wago nuts here on this power accessory hub. Okay, as you can see I cut back the sheathing on these on this bundle of wire and I have and it's on both sides and I have connected the whites to the whites the yellow to the yellow the blue to the blue and the black, the two blacks to the black. So we should be in business. So next step is to get these hooked up. I'm not going to screw them in yet, but I'm going to hook the power up. We're going to test them, make sure they're working before I start putting all the mounting screws back in. So let's do that. All right, we have the left side here. We got blue wires. We got blue wires on those connectors. We should be good. Let's connect it up. All right, got that one connected. We're going to let it hang for a minute. We're going to do the same to the right side. We have yellow wires and yellow wires. Let's hook this one up. All right, that one's hooked up. Let's turn this puppy on, see what smokes. totally dead. wonder where the key is. Oh, the key's here. Hello. All right. Well, it doesn't recognize the key. Back in a second. It doesn't recognize the key. That was your deduction. Could it possibly be that you haven't yet hooked up the negative side of the power terminal yet? Let's try that and see if the key works. Good Lord. All right, let's test it out. Oh, look at that. We have power. Oh, and we have daytime running light on the left. We have daytime running light on the right. Let's check out the turn signals.
sequential turn signals working on the left. Sequential turn signals working on the right. We are good to go. Now let's put this poor baby all back together again. Okay, I think today's installations are complete. Got her all put back together. Check it out. I also installed the brake modulator, so I'm going to let you take a look at that. Watch what happens when I press on the brakes. guys I think that's gonna do it for today I want to thank cruise man and his videos for helping me with just about every step of the way today and I want to thank you guys for joining me if you like this content please click the like and subscribe button it's free of charge I would appreciate it and until next time take care